Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, the summer's on having my streams. I have no clue, but we're back. Like I said, um, it's just that I am just don't like the way I'm being treated. Like, it's disrespectful non-stop every day. And it hurts my feelings, bro. Like, I, I ain't getting, like, it's not like nobody cares at all. It feels like, I feel like nobody cares. Like, literally. Like, I understand, I might be talking to this, but while I'm not, I'm still being treated disrespectfully, disrespectfully. And it's like, and also, the things with the, the six siege main, like, so basically, last, last night, um, last night, basically, me and Cam, me, Cam, and Pup, and Beast were all playing six siege, like, six siege, and, uh, basically, um, I accidentally took Cam's main, so they're doing his main, like, they'll have two mains, one for attackers, one for defenders, I accidentally took Cam's main, which is, um, I don't, I forgot his name, what was his name, uh, for defender, I guess, his name's Echo, you know, Echo, um, I took I took his main by accident. I first didn't consider it accident. So what happened was they were joking around and they were joking around. Cam was joking around. But they they're gonna kill me. He killed me and uh, joking around. I didn't take it as a joke honestly later that day. And then they like and then came in the chat and then he called me sensitive and uh, basically it was like called me sensitive and everything. And he said he slept on the Cam joke around. You're like I don't I don't know if I want to do that like. <laughs> But, um, yeah, and, uh, also, also another thing, uh, basically, like, the other day, I don't know if I told, I don't, I don't know if I told you this in the last stream, or not, I can't remember, but like I said, so the other day, we me and Zach were playing GTA, um, basically, we was doing, like, a KL Perico heist, not heist, like, the mid, one of the missions, where you grab the airplane, fly, fly to the, the KL Perico. I was looking at the map, and I accidentally pressed triangle, Basically, and uh, basically, um, that led to Zach. That led to me jumping out of the plane, and that led to Zach like, getting mad, and we messed the mission. So, like, basically, we he kicked me out of the heist. He kicked me out of the mission at heist, basically, over just one accident. And he didn't consider that as an accident. He considered that on purpose. Like, everybody did, basically. And everybody did. And then he let all his frustration out, and he, and he started getting mad at me and stuff like that. And it's like, it was just one mistake. And he doesn't he doesn't believe me. He doesn't believe me. He doesn't. And it's also, um it's not like it's just like it's like you're getting, you're doing you're just gonna kick me out of the yes. And also I want to also be another thing. So basically the other day, also like since last two weeks two weekend two weeks ago or last weekend, I can't remember. Um Zach start we all started this movie. That Zach created in when he was either third grade, second grade, or whatever. Um, we did in GTA, so he put me, he basically took me out of scenes. He took me out of two scenes straight, I guess. He took me out of the scene where, like, um, where, where is it? Here it is, look. So these are the lines I was supposed to go over, right? So these are our lines. I'll call it, so he laid me these lines I was supposed to say. And he told me what to do. So then he took, so he took me out of that and replaced me with Fierce, which kind of pissed, which kind of made me mad. It was like, so I waste my time doing that. And then he, now this movie we did, so like he took me out of that scene as well, all because I missed playing, as I was like, I missed playing WWE, because we didn't play WWE at all for that whole week, because we were busy doing that movie. That movie took up almost that entire time of us playing WWE when I mean, we've been playing GTA more, and that really made me mad. So I wasted my time doing that. I wasted my time doing that for no, and he said no reason. I wasted my time doing that just for taking out of the movie. I got taken out of two scenes, two fucking scenes for nothing. And another thing, I'm tired of the off no offensive crap. I'm tired of that. That makes me more anger, more anger, more anger, anger. It happens every single day, and I don't want to say nothing. I just let it be. In my head, I'm really mad, but I try my best to be in a chill mood, so this doesn't have to make the situation any bigger. And Zach will say stuff that nobody asks for. Like I don't have a 15 year old. Like I like, and, and, and no matter what age it is, he'll bring my age. And no matter what situation it is, he'll bring my age in every situation. Like he'll be like, "You're 15, so you should act immature. You should act mature and act like this." Like, bruh. My age has nothing to do with, my, with the situation. Nothing to do with any situation whatsoever. Now, 
And another reason why he's probably mad at me because of the towel hungry. I'm like, okay, I'll admit right here right now. I'm gonna say right here right now. I'll admit. I, I was probably talking about right then. And I probably and I'll admit I got begged for I probably be I did beg for the US title match. But the thing I want you guys to understand is like you could possibly have the worst like you could possibly have one of the worst embarrassing moments of your life and you will want redemption and you won't give it a second chance to prove so like to so, so you can try your best to take that chance off to take that crap off of you. Simple as that. Yeah, and also another thing. Um, I don't know if you guys remember one of my streams from last time where I was playing 2 19 micro remote where I accidentally was like, I said, I'll give you head. No, I'll give you head. How about that? I was doing that as a joke. And er and since that day, basically, Zach, so in that day, same day, Zach caught me at 4K. Basically, he, um, basically, uh, he created, a, he basically, his phone somehow is able to record videos whenever he wants to, like, anytime. And... Basically, he record, he's took that same clip of that same recording, and then he posted it to Instagram chat, the Instagram chat we used to have for Dog Pound, and the other chat. He posted that same chat, and more videos. And now, whenever we rose about some of that, it's, I'm just going to have to accept it. Accept it. I'm going to accept my fate. Because of this. Because of this situation right here, right now. It's that same situation since that day. I have been it's been posting and now and I'm getting made fun of. They don't do it anymore, but they but they, but they sometimes do it, but sometimes do it. And also, I have embarrassing moments that happens when I'm not even going now when I'm not even streaming. I have embarrassing moments. I have embarrassing moments like I lost a roll up, I lost a comeback, and I also I also a roll up, I lost a reversal, I also air, I also lost stuff. And whenever they're, I'm in an argument with them, they'll use that same stuff. They'll use that same embarrassing moments and put in a rose. And I have nothing to do. I have, there's nothing I can do about it. And I'm and I'm getting teamed on by a lot of people in that chat. In that chat. And also, I want, and I want to be very clear. I want to say nothing. So there, and also like two, two or three months ago, two or three months ago, um. When um what's his name? Um what's his name? I forgot his name. Um what was his name? Oh I'm gonna real quick. I'm pretty sure we still have his name. Wait, what's his name real quick? I wanna get his name. Where is he? What's his name? What is his name? Talk about chat. If I can find it. Put scammer. Um, that's uh, what team we again? I forgot his name, but I forgot his name. Um, uh, what was his name? I'm resting. Basically, two or three months ago, um. I'm pretty sure his name is split. I forgot his name. Basically, two or three months ago. So basically, this guy, he's been attacking harder, not FaZe. Um, I forgot his name. Basically, what happened was he gave to me a Fortnite skin. He gave to me a Fortnite skin. Basically, he was sending his V Bucks to buy the next season battle pass. And he they claimed I forced him by then. He gives a no. And I promised him I owe him back. I'll, I'll give him his game back. And then I was supposed to owe him tomorrow, but I didn't have the money. So I, I mean, I, so I had to have the money. I had to get the money. I got it. Owed him back. Now, on the time, hear me out. So what happened was, at the time, I was at the same time, I had to owe Cam a pup back. So I kind of, so what happened was, our time apart, he was the partner the person who I was supposed to owe back. He wasn't online. I was in a party with Cam and Pup. So I bought the battle pass. So I bought this the Fortnite crew pack. I also bought the battle pass. And I bought I got more V-Bus. So I decided to owe Cam and Pup back. I owed Cam back. And I owe Pup, Pup, Pup back. But I owed him. I gave to him emos and gliders. He, and he was being sarcastic. And, um, yeah, pretty much it. And then, and then Zach called me. And then Faye, and my second partner called my phone. He's like, why didn't you owe me back? I'm like, you wasn't online. And I also had to owe Cam and Pup back. And because it's stuff, and I, hey, and and I want to be very clear. Whenever Pub wants to give me a skin or something like that, I'm like, do not give me. They do not give me at all because I, because I took me a year to own him back, 
and they made it seem like I was a gold digger, and uh, which I'm not. So that's so I so I always say, do not repeat, do not gift me anything. Not a single, not a single piece of porn skin. I mean, it's not do not give me anything. Not even an emote, glider, nothing. Do not gift me anything back. Because because it's, it's gonna have me add pup, add to old pup more. And I don't want more me to make it seem like I'm a gold digger. So yeah, so yeah, I do not want anything from Pop or anything. But also, like I said, so basically, um, when Zach, when my text board told Zach the news, Zach called my phone, being like, "Why didn't you owe face like owe him back?" I'm like, "Bro, we can't." He wasn't online. He like you could say that he was, and we got to all men start yelling at me like that. I'm like, and I hang up the phone. Whenever Zach does that, I always hang up. Oh, my my words are done. I always hang up the phone on him because because it's like right. You call my phone, just yell at me. You call my phone, just do this, do that, and it's messed up. Just call my phone, just do that. Mess it all. But um, but uh, yeah. I just don't want to do have anything to deal with the situation I'm in. And also, another thing, guys, I'm, uh, this is going to be weird, but, okay, guys, hear me out. So, one day, um, I was, my dad got home from work. So, back then, like, back then, I used to talk about sexual crap with WWE, like, who she met, Charlotte Flair, such a band, like, all of that stuff, like, da 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 And I stopped doing that, and then one day, um, one day, I was, like, my dad got home from work, and my mom, I love, I was taking, taking a nap, time, I was taking a nap. I got tired. I got so tired from school, and uh, basically I woke up. It's my dad's room. He was doing, and then he, I call him. I was going to him. Let's just say I was watching some. Let's just say he was watching something weird and inappropriate, inappropriate on TV while my, while my mom wasn't home. And uh, basically, when I told Cam about this, he he's like, I told Cam about this. Cam was like, okay, he was chill. Then Zach went. Then Zach found out. I joined the party back. I told my phone was about to die. I joined the party back, and we got a whole argument. He said he got mad at me just he got mad at me just for uh, for me saying it, trying to teach me some lessons, thinking like I probably will do it or I probably will want to. And then and then can't Zach calls and then Zach first Zach blocked me, and then he muted me and said kept saying stuff to me. He was saying stuff like that, and I understand I, I probably should never said that, but like the but what he did the what he did. After that, he said that I have one more strike and I'll be removing you talk about. Now I want to be very clear, very clear right, right here, right now. I understand I said that, but it's not your job. You're the general manager. And as GM, it is your job to book the match, look into every situation for a match or a situation, situation and take it to your boss as the, to the owner, basically. Your boss is the owner. Now, hear me out. It's basically pretty much the owner's decision. To when they'll give you a strike, strike. That's not your. That's really. And that was my first, basically, the first and last warning. If you think about it, because that didn't give me no strikes in the past, and he's giving me one now. And this is my last one. That you should have no right to say that. No, you should remind me like, yes, yeah, your final strike. But let's make one thing very, 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 very clear. As GM, it is your. Like I said. It's your responsibility to look into every match, book the matches, do that. It's not your job to give people strikes if they mess up on one thing or say like that. It's the owner's decision. And now the owner has baller. He usually doesn't be on the game that much because he spends time with his wife and stuff like that. He's growing a dog. I'm like, okay, that's fine. He's a grown man and it's understandable. And he has and he does he does a hundred stuff percent. But at least understand, at least look the situation that happens. And I'm not and baller is not part of the situation. Like he doesn't do anything wrong, but he's fine. I'm just saying at least Look into the situation and make and have the owner, the owner, as general manager, the owner, make the decision. And uh, and uh, yeah, um, and uh, basically, also the um, also the uh, the dog pound heavyweight time match that we eat a pup. Now, what happened was this: they did it while Zach was in the party. They, we did this while Zach was in the party. So basically what happened was we did a warmer match and then we did the actual match. But the only issue with this, 
it was scheduled to be a table, ladders, and chairs match. You understand that? Repeat what I said. Table, ladders, and chairs match. First person to climb the ladder, retrieve all the titles. The winner who win, they will receive the, the dog on the title, the IC, and the money to make briefcase. Now, here's what happened. Basically, the match kept splitting. So it would be in different matches. It kept splitting. So what we had, did was, we did it like this. We did three matches. That's how I three. We did three matches. Each match will have the prize list. So the first match, we did the IC and retained. The second match was for the dog highway title. Now, this is what caused the situation to mess up. Now, basically, um, what happened was, is that I, I was, I only hit pup was mentioned two times. Now, I want you to be clear. Spamming, ten, if you think about spamming, technically, it's like more than uh three times. It's more than three times. It's not like... It's more than three times. I did it two times to get pup one to get pup to waste his pup to waste one of his abilities so he doesn't so he shouldn't have any time so he wouldn't have any moment to like you know to like not tap out. And I did the second time to so like win the match. Now the now pup and Ian got mad the fact that I won it. That I've won. I understand this. They got mad that I won. That I've won the match. I won the match. Now, also, Pup was complaining about the fact that he, I did it on a person who can't who can do submissions. But yet, still, Pup done. I'm, I seen Pup do a submission. Also, I see him do a submission, and he's not good at, at he's not good at when it comes to the, a submission game. When it's pretty much the same thing, right? Like it's just the only difference is that you're you're being tamped. You're being submit. You're being submitted, and you're submitting to the person, and you're not good at that. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just in a different. It's that in this in a different way. That's the only thing. That's the only issue. And then after that, popping in and was like, oh, you know, I don't deserve that title. I don't deserve that title. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve that. I don't deserve none of that. I don't deserve any of that. And also after that, after the situation, basically Pub and Ian, basically what happened was that Pub and Ian, uh, basically what happened was that uh, Pub and Ian was basically saying saying all that, and then I try to forget about the situation. So we did uh Fall Guys, right? We did Fall Guys stuff. So basically, the, we were doing a punishment, doing a punishment stuff. Well, not everybody agrees to it, but like, hear me out though. If when I got the punishment, they agreed to it. But hear me out, this is what they did. Ian won the, the one won the match. And basically, um he gave the he gave his win to Pub. So he let Pub decide. So what happened was at first time he said, either drink toilet water or either make me drink hot sauce with mayonnaise and mustard. Now you know dang well. I'm not I don't even know if I want to do that. I don't even know if I want to do that. And now and also they said if I refuse to do this, I have to give Pub and Cam a free title shot. Now I want to be very clear, very, very clear. They said clear. When I talk, when I bring the things to the situation to Zach about it, Zach, Cam and them said that hey, like they were teasing me basically. They were pretty much teasing me, saying like you don't deserve it, you're trash, you're trash. Like you were saying all that, and I kept screaming. And also that same day, it was the WWE draft, and I wanted to see what happened. And also I was able to see that because I was forced to do these matches. I was forced to do a match with Pub and Cam. It did it so much that I kept splitting, and we didn't get to do the match. And then Zach, match, and Zach and them, they, and Zach finally joins. I tell him the situation, Bala was there, and at first, they was like, oh yeah, you could have said no, you didn't want to do it. No, you didn't say that. No, you said that. You only said that now, because Zach was in the party. So yeah, And it was, everybody was seeing on me. It's five against one. And they were forcing, they were making it seem like, they were telling Zach, to take the title off of me and do it and give it to one of them, do a chamber for it. Cause they don't deserve it. And Zach was trying his hardest to not take the title off of me, but it's five against one. Now let's be one. Let's get one thing straight. You don't, as you ever measure, it's you don't get, you don't get to determine. You don't get to like make a situation, make a decision based off, based off how many people it is in the situation, based off if it's um five against one. Based off if it's one person by himself and everybody teaming together. Simple as that. You don't. That's not how it works. Works. I feel like you should let the owner decide that. So what happened was after that, uh, I still kept the title. Um, I did a match with AJ. Uh, me and Cam and AJ were playing. Me and Cam were playing around with AJ. We 
broke up his pen, we broke up the move and everything, and we I was able to do a chamber with AJ and them, which I understand, I, I got deserved it, because I did just make H Max, he made me mad that day, um, but, uh, basically, um, basically, I, I did a chamber match, now, I want to be very, very clear, very, very clear, I, I only held that title for four or five hours, that was my first ever world title defense, first ever world title defense, First ever. First ever World Title Defense. And I didn't even get to hell it for a whole, I didn't even get to hell it for 24 hours. I didn't even hold it for 24 hours. And I got it taken off of me, literally. I, I, I got it taken off of me. I, well, I didn't get it taken off of me if you think about it, but like, I relinquished it because I was probably going to lose it either way in the chamber. And like that. And, um, like, yeah. And, and I was like, this is messed up. Because, like, I, I'm getting pressured to defend the title. But it's like, for what? Like, I understand. Like, I understand. I, I gotta, like, defend it. Since I messed, I cheated in the match with AJ. And I understand that. But the other times, that's just ridiculous. And now that, I want to be very clear. During the uh, Money in the Bank match, the third match we did, I was getting teamed on by Pup and Ian. They were stomping me. They were breaking my moves. And they were doing... All of this stuff, and they were ring guarding me. And it's in the rule book, dog pound rule book, no ring guarding, no stomping, and, and no double leaving. Those are the three main rules, and they broke those rules just because I tapped Pup out? That sounds salty. Just because I did submissions on him. That sounds salty as heck. That sounds so salty. And I understand. Maybe, maybe it's like, oh, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. But no. But no. And I'm not getting mad over that. But it's like all these other situations I had, it's building momentum and it went and they and it's just and I'm getting disrespected. It's disrespectful. The disrespected I'm getting treated by almost everyone in Doctor Pound. I'm getting disrespected to, by me. I'm getting disrespectful. And people are disrespecting me. And there's something I can really do about it. There's nothing I can really do about it. Because I'm getting, because I, because I have no one in my corner, no one's there to help me, no one's there to do anything. And like another example, like another example, it came me out. So five or four months ago, basically me and Zach. So at first, um, five or four months ago, Zach, when I got my, when I started playing, when I had Kenny Hall on my PS5, what happened? When I had Kenny Hall on my PS5. I he was using Kenny Hall a lot, a lot. What happened was is that freaking. So what happened was that. Zach, one or one after, in the afternoon, Zach made found this character from Creations, saying like, "Oh, guys, this character does some kind of moves. I'm gonna test it out here, or some hacking stuff." Like he didn't believe it, but it, he didn't know. But he claimed he, but which caused it to hack my PS4. Well, not hack it, like corrupt my PS4. So I wasn't able to play. I wasn't able to play WWE for a whole day, and it messed up my PS5 as well. And messed up my PS5. So I can't. So I wasn't able to use Kenny Hall anymore. Wasn't able to get, get, use Kenny Hall because no one wanted to play. Because I wasn't able to play with nobody. I wasn't able to play use Kenny Hall. I wasn't able to use Kenny Hall and play against others in a match. I wasn't able to do that because of that day, and it was an accident. It was an accident. And not only that, he did. He didn't just once. He did. He did twice because he did it from his War. Like the next, like two weeks, two weeks later after that, two weeks later after that. Zach freaking sat here. He used another character, another glitch character that had hack that had the name hacking character. When he was grabbing me, when he was like trying to grab me, he he made my character freeze. He made my character freeze and it corrupted my PS4. And now, like, I can't play on my PS4 anymore now because of that because of the situation. I can't. I can't play on my PS4 now because of the situation, and I really want to play 2K21. I mi very I miss playing 2K21 on Park, current gen, because I was an All Star. I was doing great in 2K21, and I can't play on it anymore. And I'm on I'm stuck with next gen. But here's the issue: I don't play next gen Park. I don't play the city. I never did. I I I even got past Pro One yet. I Pro One. Actually, yeah, I haven't got past Pro One yet. So I'm, I, and now that I had an 80 overall, and that somehow messed up my system. So I, I don't even have my 80 overall anymore. I was supposed to be being, being past 80 overall, and now I don't have it. I 
Now I don't have it. But the, hey, the 2K21, 2K21, like, PS5, next gen, that doesn't do that. The only issue is, he messed up both my PS5 and my PS4. I can't use Kenny Hall anymore, and I can't play on my PS4, thanks to him. My PS4 is corrupted now. And, uh, and the corrupted thing, hear me out. When this, when these great WWE 2K20 players teams, Scott and Trey were in the league, they formed Zach, him, Trey, Scott, and Zach, and Zach. They formed a, a whole alliance. They used these things, they used these players to call it corrupted characters. It's where they have, basically, they have irreversible moves. They have, they have irreversible moves. They have hacking moves. They have, Everyone's moves where you can't, they, there's like, there's not gonna be a reversal pop button pop up or area or anything. They have all of those stuff, all those hacking abilities. You can't use those. And they're mainly from the DLC. It's like, let's say, they're mainly from the DLCs. And you can't use those. And the corrupted stuff, Zach, made, and then when Sky and them left the lead. Now, I want to be very clear. When I did it, it was on my normal character, uh, Agent Hall. It became a big deal to Zach, because he didn't like it. He's gonna make a corrupted character. Now, it's like making five or like more characters when we can just use one. Now, I wanna be very clear. The corrupted character rule, corrupted character thing, it's not an official rule in Dog Pound. It never was. Baller nor Dark. Well, I consider kind of see, is there Dark, like when the owners, but it's more Baller, Baller, you know, but Baller or Dark. No, no, I'm just saying Baller. Baller did not make that rule official, where if you're gonna use Air Brussels, Air Brussels make a corrupted character. Zach's telling us to do it because he wants to follow the same path that Trey and Scott took. And everybody doesn't want to do that. Well, only a little people want to do that, but a lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people don't want to do that at all. At all. At all. And another thing, and also this, I swear to God, and also this, mm, like this move claiming crap. We don't know. Some people don't know or forgot that you have those moves. And we're on, and for Ian's brand, if you're gonna use a move, you gotta ask him. On Zach's brand's move claiming, I left Zach's brand first because I had Spear 11, which is basically a tackle. And I, and he got mad because I kept using that so much, so much, and he never won me on the brand. So I was like, let me go on Ian's brand. Because there, I could just use the move. And I, I was using moves, and I wanted to be on Zach's brand, and I wanted to be on Zach, and then when I moved up to Ian's brand, literally people were taking my moves, and they didn't care about that. Like, for example, Juice. Juice was in there. Juice was there, was part of one of them. And then when I beat him, beat him for that move, the Claymore, and this became music, Zach came and was like, Juice Q's move. And when I moved Zach's, and then when I moved to Zach's brand, and I took moves, they started getting mad at me. For taking the moves when it's literally there's no move claiming and you can use whatever moves you want. That's what she that's what your rules is. I'm doing your rules and you're getting mad at me because I'm using these moves. But you literally said anybody can use the moves. That's what you said. And when I do it, it's a big problem. You don't want me to win. Don't, don't put the rule in. Put, put that rule in there. Like what? And another thing. And for and then, like for freaking juice, juice here. You know what? We're not gonna talk about juice. I don't care about that anymore. Literally, bro. And Zach will. And Zach is mainly the one who makes me mad and pisses me off the mostly. And I try to keep my my annoyance down. I try to keep it down. And this all started in Act WF. Because I was talking about WrestleMania stuff. I was talking about all that. I was talking about like, WrestleMania match. Like, what's your favorite WrestleMania? Favorite match? I was talking about all that WWE. And then no, and apparently annoyed Zach. Because I was talking about it every single day. When it was a big deal. Whenever I'm singing. Whenever I'm singing currently right now. Like playing a music party. When I'm singing, it's a big deal. But whenever someone else does it. When Zach's party. It's not a big deal, isn't it? it, it it's not a big deal, right? Zach doesn't say anything. He just says to me, not to anyone else. He says to me, not anyone else. And I want to be very clear. The only reason why I feel like nobody stands up, stands up to face Zach and talk to stuff like that, because they don't want to make it a big deal. Because they, they don't want to, like, his argument, ha the argument, like, because they already know it's going to be a big deal. It's going to, like, be a whole bunch of chaos for nothing. It all, it all boils down to the. The treatment you receive from this man Zach, cause he does piss me off a lot. He does make me mad. He does.
make me mad like a lot. Like I don't I don't even want to come at that one honestly, but but hear me out. But hear me out. Um if this is what I want, if you want me to come at that one, I want these things. Better treatment, no more disrespect, no more offensive, and no more joking around with me. That's what all that's the only things I want. Because I'm not gonna keep taking those anymore. No more saying no no offense key. And and no more saying no offense key, no more saying like you don't have a 15 year old, you're probably the worst player. Like no saying none of that. The second, the second thing I want is the second rule. I think second thing I want is a merge joking around. And the third thing I want is to at least talk with a at least with a calmly attitude. If you get mad at me for something, then yeah, okay. But you better get mad at me for something that's actually considerable. And that actually will matter. Not for something stupid. I'm putting multiple examples on this league and on this man's act. Because I want you guys to understand. Because you should not have any You have a friend that disrespects you. Or it may seem like they're selfish. It may seem like everything's about them. Then I'm not going to keep. Then don't hang out with them. Hang out with a friend that actually cares about you. Hang out with a friend that actually supports you. Hang out with a friend that actually helps you out. Hang out, hang out with those type of friends. I waste all my time. I've been, I've been in this league for since March or April, and I've been getting nothing but disrespect. And I'll admit, back then, a lot of people hate me because I was being talent hungry. And we're here. Uh, 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 we're here. October 2021, two days for Halloween. And I still haven't got any better treatment from Zach or anyone else. Anyone else. I try my absolute hardest to be calm and not make the situation a bigger deal. But they, but I'm tired of them just taking. I'm tired of like some people in that party taking advantage of it. And I'm not gonna call any names. But it's mainly Zach. Zach, you're thirteen. You're thirteen or fourteen. You should know better. You should know that when no one, you know, you shouldn't be disrespectful to your friends if they're not doing anything wrong. Like for example, I can be quiet in that party or something like that, and he'll just or like, and I and I say one thing, he'll just be disrespectful. It'll say you have. I have the right. I have, they have the right to call me sus. They have the right. They'll have the right to be disrespectful to me. What type of friend are you, Zach? What type of friend is that? You do it mainly for me. You don't. And you say. And you say you do to all your friends. You don't do this to none. You do this to none. You don't do this to Ian. Do you don't do this to Cam? You don't do this to Bob. You don't do this to AJ. You don't do it to no one, but me, twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. I'm getting and that in my head. I, I it went, after I get off, and I'll admit, whenever I'm having a bad day because of them, they make my day worse. Basically, if I'm thinking about it, I gotta wake up in a good mood, and they'll make my day worse because I get arguments with them. And they'll call me some names. Like I get in a bad mood that, and I'll admit, sometimes I might get emotional because of that. The only time they really actually care to listen is when, like, basically around, like, around, what, April or May, they, like, my last school year, um, I was planning on, um, guys, it, like, I was planning on freaking out my ex-girlfriend to date this new girl, and yeah, that's the only time they cared. But other than that, like, sometimes I guess, and, uh, and also another time they care is when, um, me and my cousin Christian are, like, my aunt passed away, and and guess and Christian, and that's Christian. That's my aunt, and that's Christian's grandmother. They, they passed away, and I told them. I told told them about it. They felt bad for me. And they said sorry, and and I, and I told them not to tell Christian. And I'm, I'm blessed, and I'm thankful they didn't tell him. But that's the only that's the only time they cared. Other than that, it's constant, nonstop disrespect. This thing, this league has been nothing but disrespect to me since day one, and I should not get. And that's like, I feel like there's, there's going to be no disrespect between none of us. None of us. If it's, I, I'm, t if it's either I'm, I'm probably towel hungry, then okay, fine. But I must, I'm going to stop doing that. But when I stop it, you still do, you, but you still try to make me feel ashamed of myself for asking for towels. Like, even, like, even if, for example, the exactly like a whole day went because they don't ask for towels. Because, like, for example, one day, um, they were doing a match. 
you ready to win the match, I guess. And um, basically, Zach was like, I hope, like, I don't care if he has other people to win against me, but, but they were like, he, I hope I'm gonna. I'm, I hope Fierce wins because unlike he, because they don't ask for title shots, they actually earn them. They actually like he says that every single time when it comes to title shots or anything like that. Every single time he does that, and and they're probably trying to make do that to make it seem like I should be the same himself or try to tease me. I'm probably the mo number one most hated do player in Dog Pound, so I'm leaving. I left that group so I can have no more haters or negatives against me. I've been on this channel for three years now, and I joined Dog Pound since March or April, and I and I, since March or April, and I'm getting nothing but dis disrespect. And I'm tired of no offensive. I'm tired of joking around. I'm tired of all of that. All of that. All of that. My age has nothing to do with every situation we have. Not my age has nothing to do with it. Nothing with it. I don't really need to get together, bro. Like, some of y'all need to get together. Because that's ridiculous. I was all my time just to get this back. And I'm very sure, I'm very sure whenever y'all do it, y'all don't feel bad. Y'all don't feel bad about it. Y'all don't feel bad. Y'all really don't care. Because y'all probably never did. Probably never did. <laughs> like, literally, like, just like an hour ago, like, what, like, a, yeah, almost an hour ago, Ian called my phone, Zach said, his, he was, I told Ian called my phone, saying, Zach, stop disrespecting me. No, you said that the last time, Zach, and you're still doing it to this very day. If you're actually gonna stop, then stop doing it. 20, then stop actually doing it. Don't say something, don't say that you're gonna stop doing that, and you're gonna keep, and even keep doing it. That just proves you. You that just proves you're not gonna stop. It proves you're gonna keep doing it. It proves you're just gonna keep keep doing it to everyone else. You don't know how they feel about it. You don't know how they feel about it. But yeah, so think of, think of example. What if someone did that to you? A whole group, a whole group of boys that's probably tough and taller than you. They all respect you. How do you think they're? How do you think you're gonna feel? Six months, we'll say that. Let's say time. Six months of disrespect. Almost an entire year of disrespect. Now that's all I gotta say. An entire year, almost an entire year of disrespect. But not even half a year, half a year of disrespect. And, I, and, and it's not gonna stop. It's never gonna stop. So I'm just gonna accept the fact that I'm I'm probably gonna keep just dis getting disrespected, or I'm gonna keep getting and saying no offense key. I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept all of that. Like literally, I'm doing great in school, and I do, and I keep doing great in school just to make some more time, make more time with Zach and the entire Dong Pong community. And I'm pretty sure I'm doing all of that for nothing, and I'm not gonna keep failing. I'm gonna keep passing. And I'm doing great in school. Like look, like look, like where my work at? Like where my work at? Where where is it? Here it is. This is my digital work. This is science work. I finished all today, this morning. I woke up this morning, finished all this digital work. I did all my digital work just I want to have to play with. Just like I have a lot of time with Zach. But no, I did all this for nothing. And like, listen, whenever I'm in an argue, argument with someone, listen, my mom, my mom, she doesn't like when I get arguments because I'm yelling the game. And she'll tell me, she'll force me to get off. She'll, she'll make me get off or else I'll get in trouble. She'll make, she'll make me like, not play for like, either, like a day or two. Should make him play against the CPU or the computer, or whatever. I hate it. I hate it so much. The fact that the way I'm being treated is not acceptable. You should never play with friends that treat you badly. That just proves they're not a real friend. That's a fake friend. And I'm not, and it's just because my name's Keith's a fake friend. Doesn't mean I'm actually fake. Cause I want to be very clear, guys. Cause back then I didn't. Even, I started playing Malachi. I started playing with Malachi because of that situation. Because of the same treatment I was getting from him, and I stopped doing that. I right, so I left him. I let I had him to play with Zach, and I got that same treatment from Zach. You can turn your laptop on and turn that fan off. All right, mom. Hold on. 
and the same dream for Zach. So to this day, I'm gonna announce it right here right now. I hope all you guys want this. So Zach, I understand. I got. I, I heard what you said. The party. It's Ian's only. So I'm, this is what I'm gonna do, Zach. I'm gonna think. I don't know if I'm stop, but for right now, I'm keeping your number blocked. I just don't want to do anything. I just want to have nothing to do with you, Ian, Pup, Ian, Pup, and him. All the rest of you guys. I'm gonna have to think about you guys as well. Because what you guys, because because you guys treat me bad as well. So don't act like you're off the hook. And I'm not treating you guys bad. So I'm just gonna think. I'm just gonna have to think, and um, yeah, um, I'll be gone for like three weeks. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep playing, like keep broadcasting and everything. But one thing is for sure, though. Oh, for sure, though, you play with people. I ain't be friends with people who actually treat you nice. Be friends with people who actually respect you and accept your terms. Be friends with people who actually support you and actually will give a damn about it. In that, and and in this Leo Dobbound, there's gonna be some, there's gonna be some pretty messed up shit. Anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna go, and um, I hope you guys understand this video. Like and subscribe. I will put my Reddit in the chat, in the description, and um, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.